All right, hello everybody, Zach's through 99 back with you again, guys. This time we're looking at a quick re-review of the game 2100 that I reviewed just a couple of days ago, and I gave it a negative review. Now, this game made my effort is obvious uh, series, a new series I started last month. I wanted to make a game where the game, you know, I wanted to make a series where the games I reviewed weren't good and had a lot of bugs, but I could see that the developer was maybe a new developer and really putting effort into the game. And I called it Effort is Obvious. So I see here that the developer Interactive Gaming Studios has really taken my first video to heart that I did just a couple of days ago. And he's already applied a couple of patches since that uh, review went in. In fact, I did that review back on the 21st and he put a patch in the very same day. So I know one of the suggestions I had for the developer was to give us text to show us what the mission or objective was. And you'll see that's one of the first things he did. Text now appears uh, for when instructions are given uh, and an access code is involved. Two doors, also at the very end of that video, I opened a door and fell into space. He says he's fixed two doors where that you know could happen. He's also, I also complained in the video about it being too dark and I couldn't see the uh, the numbers on an access code panel. He now says all keypads should have lights on them so you can see which numbers you're entering more easily. And the decompression chamber handle has been slightly moved as it could have left the door behind open. And the level of the escape part two audio has been changed. Now this was all the same day as I made that video. And then today he already has another patch out uh, fixes, that fixes some more features. Uh, so this is where the text appears for instructions. A name is added to it so you know who's saying it. Audio has been fixed on the first level where the instructions were not being said. And where you have to find the valve, a light has been placed on it so that you can easily see if that was another problem I had in that first video. I couldn't find which valve he was talking about. So now there's a light showing. So I'm kind of uh, curious to go back and see if, you know, this game's getting better. And hopefully we can play enough of it to give the game a, you know, maybe a positive review even. Let's hope. I'm crossing my fingers for the developer here. So we're going to be back with a re-review of 2100 and we'll get that started right after this. Alright, welcome back everybody. I've just launched the game and 2100 by Interactive Gaming Studios has uh, popped up. We see some kind of loading up here. But we're going to go ahead and right back in here guys. I can show you the options again, but it has pretty standard Unreal graphic engine uh, options here. And we're just going to go ahead and go back and play the game. And we're going to go ahead and start the game over so I can see if any of these issues that I had the first time have been fixed. Hello there, I'm James from Earth's nice. ground station and welcome to the research facility for Mars colonization on the most advanced space station. You have been kept in a cryogenic pod as we needed someone to conduct research for Mars when we had the appropriate technology. The space station has the most advanced AI in all of history to help you on this task. Security on the station is also high after some unusual activity. This means some doors may be locked such as the one ahead of you. Please type in the numbers 1837 on the keypad to unlock the door. Okay. All right, I do like that. You start here and he says the door is locked ahead of you. However, he he basically, see, the new player, and this is just more feedback for the developer, a player might think that because this panel's lit up, this is the panel they need to be entering the code on, and this is not the right panel. I remember from the first time I played, it's actually the door to the left that we want to enter the code on. And this panel being lit up is probably going to confuse some players. So maybe dim this panel, make this panel not lit up. Uh, maybe make the panel that you want to enter lit up. That would be feedback for the developer. Make the panel we want to use lit up and make ones that we're not wanting to enter not lit up. You always want to make things simple for the player because sometimes, you know, the player has more on their mind uh, plus your character your voice didn't really say uh, you know it's the door to your left or anything like that you don't really the the character doesn't say 
please enter the door to your left. It just says, uh, please enter the numbers 1837 on the keypad to unlock the door. So since you start the player here, right in front of the store, I can definitely see players getting confused and trying to enter that code in here and then getting frustrated that they can't. So just some more feedback for the developer, I would definitely implement that. And then again, like I said, I would turn off the lights on that panel since that's not the door we're going through and maybe light up the uh, this panel here. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead. I do like that you're making some changes though to make it a little bit easier and uh, putting that code in text right on the screen. And bam. So that's definitely a good change. Um, did it not work? Eight. Yeah, what's going on? See, now I'm confused. I know it was this store the other day. Uh, let's clear. Can I clear it? Nope, can't clear it. Can't do anything. All right, so, so there it goes. What the hell? I think we lagged out or something. All right, now it's going. Yeah, see these, when these panels are lit up, it kind of makes it look like we're supposed to do something there. And, uh... I'm noticing some more lag this time I'm playing it that I didn't notice the first time I played. So I don't know if you've added something to the main level one of the game that's causing lag, but I'm definitely getting a laggier um, experience than I did the first time. Okay, so try to remember where I was supposed to be going. I think I keep going. Okay. If you turn right up ahead where the fans are located, you will arrive at the plant testing facility. Okay. This is where Mars soil fertility is analyzed with plants. In this room you can also find a flashlight and batteries which may be useful on the space station. Okay. Also, more feedback for the developer here. Rather than having the player have to hit Q to pick, a, pick an item up and examine it, why not just make it so if you put your cursor on it, maybe make your cursor turn into a hand and let the player hit left click. What I would do is I would get rid of Q altogether and make it so if you left click an item like this, you actually pick it up with like you do with Q now and then make it so that if you want to put it back, you just hit right click. You just right click and it'll put it back. That would be a lot easier way to do that, I think, than, um, than using Q and V and all these different things. Um, but let's go ahead and hit V. I was just informed of another issue with the electrical systems on board. Uh, this time an airlock opened while one of our workers were inside. The issues are progressively getting worse and I've had enough of them, so this is chill. All right, so we put that item back and I really, if I remember right, I think this was the only reason we came in here was for the flashlight and to read that, that phone. It seems as if the door has locked itself which is very odd. Okay. Looking into my computer, something with unauthorized access locked it by force. However, there is a keypad next to the door, and the lock can be overridden with this special access code. Please enter the numbers 2048. Okay, I like how the door does look jammed. You get the door kind of just a little bit open. I like that, that's a nice effect. And I love the fact that you put a light here so that we can see the, the, uh, the code here, uh, or the panel rather. So we're going to go ahead and hit two, oops, zero, four, eight, and hit enter. Okay. I discovered through my computer program that the artificial intelligence locked the door you were located in. The program tried to disguise itself, but we have decoded it. The fan that circulates oxygen that just stopped on the space station in front of you was also done by the artificial intelligence. We need you to go to the command center to disable the AI. Please enter the code 5791 to unlock the door. Okay, I know some fire is going to come. There we go. Yeah. So that's a nice effect. I actually like that. That actually looks pretty good. Um, you get the spacing on it right. Um, the smoke looks... I mean, that is definitely a nice little effect. Uh, you did well with that. The However, I was attempting to stop you from reaching the command center as it just overheated a gas pipe. I need you to manually close the pipe that was affected so you can gain access through. To do this, you need to go back to the cryogenic pod chamber. I unlocked the door at the back of the room. You need to find a valve and completely close it to stop the fire. Mm 
Okay. He unlocked the door, the, the cryo... I don't know what room is the cryogenic... Uh... Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about that. Um... Is it here? No. Yeah, my game is running way laggier than it ever did um, the first time, so I don't know what's going on now. But this game is really choppy right now. Alright, I don't, and again, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, this is what I was talking about when I was trying to give you feedback on give the players instructions about. I remember telling you that I recommend making maybe making a map of your ship on the right hand side, a small, you know, like a radar map, uh, a mini map of the ship and kind of put where your objective is and where you are. So it's really easy to see. I think that would be your best bet, to be honest. Yeah, see, I just. Um, well, I mean, there's only one door to go in, and that's in here. And I'm not seeing any other doors. I mean, this looks like a door sort of here, but if I hit flashlight... Oh, that's just a locker or something. So, I feel like we were here before, but... I'm really confused about where I'm supposed to be going here and what I'm supposed to be doing. I know you said you put a light in here by a valve we have to turn, but you also said you put a door in the back of the room, and I'm really confused about that. Like, I'm not seeing some new door in the back of the room. I'm not seeing any other doors, actually. Oh, there we go. Right there. There, my bad. Alright, I found it. But I'm, I'm definitely getting some, uh, I'm getting 12 frames per second right now, guys, and this is a NVIDIA 970. It should be able to handle a game like this just fine. So, uh, yeah. There is that. So, I just went up to 50 frames per second for like two seconds, and now I'm back down to like 14 frames per second. That's not good. Yeah, you know, for a single player game like this without any enemies or anything like that, I should definitely not be getting 12, 14 frames per second. I don't know if it's all your smoke, or the valves, or steam, or what, but, uh, okay, he said he put a light on a valve. Uh, I don't remember that right there. A light on a valve that I need to interact with. Uh, see anything there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for the life of me, man, I can't find this fucking valve. Like, I swear to God, this, uh, this thing is confusing as hell. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Now... It is fair to go ahead and say that a lot of these games really do confuse me. Like, I'm not exactly good at, like, being able to rot my way through these kind of games. I'm not seeing any valves lit up, though. I don't know if I've already missed it, or if I'm being a knucklehead, or what. But this is the kind of stuff that can frustrate a player. Okay, I'm back here again. Yeah, I don't... I'm not finding this valve, man. Nothing here looks interactable. I mean, I'm finding valves, but I'm not finding the valve I need to be turning, obviously. This is what I'm saying, if you had a mini radar, 
on your, um, you had a mini radar on your screen where you could kind of see where the valve's at as opposed to where you're at, I think it would be a lot easier. And the player would end up getting frustrated and getting lost like I'm getting here. do anything of there. You said a valve. I think you actually mean a valve valve, not like a computer screen. I mean, am I supposed to jump? Well, we can get back over the stairs if we need to. Like, am I missing it? Am I supposed to be going up those stairs? Is that the deal? I can get back over there from, I believe. Hmm. Right here. See, there's more valves there, but... That ain't a door I can go through. And I don't think you said anything about going upstairs, but I'm just desperate, man. I'm looking for this valve. Aha! Think this is it? Maybe? See, I would expect it to be a big valve like that, but I can't interact with it. Maybe if I go over this way? Yeah, I can't. I can't, uh, I can't interact with that one. That would be what I would expect it to look like, like a big valve. And, uh, I can't interact with these things either. Yeah, so I'm really confused about what fucking valve I'm supposed to be interacting with. I don't see anything in there. Can't interact with that either. Yeah, so I'm stuck again. I'm not going to sit here and I, I'm not going to sit here and fight a game um, interact to the developer. I'm not going to sit here and fight with a game for an hour um, trying to find a, a missing valve. You need to be a lot clearer with your instructions on how to get to the valve or in my opinion, you need to put a mini map on the screen. Uh, I may not be the smartest guy when it comes to games like this, but uh, there we go. There it is. Okay, so we found the valve. I was looking over here at this valve and it actually happened to be right here. All right, so we did find it. So I think I've already moved it. Now what? Yeah, the problem I have with that valve being there is I don't remember you saying anything about going upstairs. So yeah, there is that. And the, now I've moved the valve and I don't know what to do now. So your game needs to be a lot better about giving the player instructions about what to do. I'm assuming I go back now to where I was, if I can find it. Um, where was it? I need to go downstairs again, right? Yeah, there we go. I knew I came up two flights of stairs. Okay, so now I need to go, I think it was this way. So I need to go back to that, to that other um, side of the ship. We There we go. Okay. So race for time you can save your game. Okay. So I assume we're on level two now? Yeah, I'm getting some really bad FPS drops here as well, man. That's kind of scary. What was that? Am I not alone?
Okay, so he's obviously scared. I would be too after hearing that kind of scream. There's just too many doors in too many rooms. This is so confusing. Like, exit? I found an exit. Okay. Like, this doesn't make much sense. Like, okay, it says exit, but it's just a wall. Like, I don't get it, man. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> the FPS drops today are just really, really, really bad, too. I mean, I'm really trying hard to like this game. I, I, I think this could be a good game, but with the FPS drops and the lack of clear instructions on what I'm supposed to be doing and why, um, I'm really having a hard time recommending this game, at least at this point. I think this game needs to, uh, I think this game needs to go back into development for some amount of time, and you need to get all this, uh, you need to get the FPS worked out, so people's FPS, I shouldn't be dropping frames down to 10 frames per second on a, uh, NVIDIA GTX 970 card. Not with no enemies. Uh, or anything like that, just running around the ship, no AI, no nothing, uh, no inventory system, anything like that, there's no reason for me to be dropping down to 10 frames per second. So I don't know if you need to turn off some of this, uh, some of these, you know, some of the smoke and stuff like that to help with the FPS, uh, or what, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I can go into the options here, let's see if I go into options, I go to graphics, and I change it from very high to hi and apply see if that helps resume yeah see I mean I dropped it to high and I'm still at 14 frames per second okay so if I go into options and I go to graphics again and I drop it all the way to very low and hit apply and go back and resume okay again man I'm my FPS here, well, it's at 53 right now, 52, but it drops. Okay, right now it's dropped down to 16 frames per second, 21 frames per second. Um, this is unexcusable for being at very low graphic settings on a 970 and dropping down to, I'm at 10 frames per second right now, guys. So there's no excuse for this uh, horrible optimization in this game. Like I said, especially with no enemy AI, uh, or anything, you know, no, there's no special effects going on or anything like that for me to be on very low settings and dropping down to 10 frames per second. There's no excuse for that. This game needs to go back into development for more than two days. You need to work out the optimization. You need to work out some clear instructions for the player on what to do at all times. Uh, do, please don't leave the players stumbling around in the dark of a huge mess of assets. Uh, that you've created for your ship. I mean, I like the fact that you've made a big ship with the assets. You've done a good job with that. But if you're gonna make such a big ship, uh, you need to have some kind of a map or radar or something like that, or be a lot clearer in your instructions on where the player needs to go to do each uh, part of the mission. Otherwise, players are gonna be stumbling around in the dark, uh, getting frustrated, and they're gonna hate your game. So. This game needs a lot more work before I can recommend it. So I hate to I hate to kind of kick you low like that, but my biggest problem right now isn't even the lack of clear indications or clear, you know, steps on where to go because sometimes I'm just lousy about that in these games anyway. But there's no excuse for me being on very low graphic settings and dropping down to I'm at, I'm at 11 frames per second right now and I'm not even moving. So there's no excuse for that at all. Um, so anyway, take this game back to the drawing board, back into development, uh, work out the optimization and work out hopefully some better, clearer uh, steps on what the player should be doing at all times. That's my input for you to the developer. Um, hopefully I can come back and I'm gonna give you a month. I'm, I'm not gonna re-review this game for a month. I want you to really work on this game. And uh, you know, I mean, it's up to you if you wanna work on it or not, but this game needs a lot of work. And if you put the work into the game, the game has good enough graphics to where you could definitely charge more than $3.99 for it. I mean, if you put the work into this game, you could easily uh, charge like 10 bucks for it and get some money and get good reviews. 
but right now you're just going to get negative reviews even at three dollars just because it's so poorly optimized and it's so uh, unclear on what the player is supposed to be doing when and why so that's my advice for you mr developer thanks so much for watching everybody this has been zaxer 99 take care